Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're showing you guys how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 using an installation or .iso file. Before we get started with this video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right guys, so for the purpose of demonstration, I currently have a Windows virtual machine running and the steps that we're gonna go over on this virtual machine will be identical to your actual computer. So let's go ahead and go to an internet browser of your choice and we're gonna type in aka.ms slash download Windows 11 and press enter. This is where we're gonna get that .iso or image file from. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here. We'll skip past the first few options and we're looking for download Windows 11 disk image, ISO for x64 devices. Let's select Windows 11 multi edition and hit this blue download now button. After that, we'll need to choose the product language. This is actually an important step as you have to make sure that your product language is the same between your Windows 10 and Windows 11 versions. So for us, that's English United States. Let's hit confirm. And the last thing to do is to hit 64 bit download. I've already downloaded mine. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so I have my file explorer pulled up to my downloads here and we can see the disk image file. I'm gonna right click on this and we'll hit open with, or if you're on Windows 10, it'll be show more options and then open with. And we want the option that says Windows Explorer. If you don't see this, you can hit choose an app on your PC, but in most cases it'll pop up. So let's hit this. Once that's open, all we have to do is run this setup file right here. I'm gonna double click this and let's select yes. Now for this part, I'm going to uncheck the setting here that says I wanna help make this installation better. I'm also going to click change how setup downloads updates and let's select not right now and we'll hit next. Let's go ahead and hit accept on this license agreement. All right, and then during the ready to install phase, we're gonna hit change what to keep. And here we just wanna make sure that we're selecting the right option. In most cases, you'll want to keep personal files and apps, but you're also welcome to hit nothing here, which will basically delete everything and you'll start fresh. You can also just keep your personal files and the settings and apps will be deleted. In most cases, you'll probably want this first option. We always recommend before proceeding with a significant software update to go ahead and make a backup of any critical data. So with that, let's hit next. All right, at this point, I'm simply going to hit install. This is gonna take a little bit, so we'll see you guys once it's done. All right, guys, I've successfully ran the .iso installation file and I've successfully upgraded to Windows 11. In my case, I have not been prompted for an activation key yet. You'll probably get prompted for an activation key during the upgrade process, but if you don't, let me show you guys how to go ahead and activate the operating system. So we'll go to settings and here we can actually see that we need to activate our PC so I can hit activate now. And it says again, the activation state is not active. So all we have to do is where it says change product key. Let's hit change. And now we're prompted to enter our product key. If you purchase windows from IndigoSoft, we will email this directly to your inbox in just a few minutes. If you purchased it from Microsoft, it will be available from your Microsoft account or from your email. And same thing if you purchased it from another vendor. So once you've purchased and found your product key, we're gonna paste that in. We're gonna blur this on screen, but again, this is my actual product key for Windows 11. All right, so I've got my product key in and I'll hit next. All right, and then it's letting us know that we're about to activate, so I can go ahead and click activate. All right, and as we can see, Windows is activated. The specific license for Windows 11 Pro. And now I can go ahead and close out of this and we are good to go. We can use Windows 11 and all of its features. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything that we went over, feel free to drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have specific videos that you'd like to see, we strongly encourage you to comment those down below. Most of our commented viewer requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.